Hey guys! Hey guys! <laughs> Today we're picking out my October TBR. It's October 3rd and I have my best friend and roommate, Anna, here. And she's gonna pick out five books for us. I will say, I told her one of the books so she's actually only picking four books. But I'm gonna go while she's picking and then she'll reveal them to me, oh, okay? okay? So I'm gonna go in the other room. Um, but yeah, and you can move it if you need to. Okay, ciao! Okay. Hi vlog. Okay, so this was the only one that Aubrey said she wanted me to pick um, for the five books because I think it's one that she was gifted and so she's wanting to reading it. It's called Go Hex Yourself by Jessica Clare. So that's the first one. So that's one. Um, we're thinking like a, a Halloween fall vibe because it's October, right? Um, and my first thought is orange for October. And this was one that Aubrey said was Dark Academia because she's giving me a rundown of ones, some of the stuff on her shelf that was kind of more the vibe of the of the fall or the fall season. So I think I'm gonna do this one. This one's called Bunny. I've never heard of this one before. Oh, but they have lots of little blurbs from Daily Mail and Lena Dunham and everyone. Okay, so this one's Bunny by Mona Awad. I think is that's how you say it. Um, I don't know much about these books, so I am honestly just picking based off of through the covers and or the vibe so you have no actual like I don't know there's nothing that I'm basing this off of other than I want to pick it um okay let's see what else do I want to pick I also don't know which of these Aubrey has or hasn't read before so that also makes a difference because I don't know if I'm picking something she hasn't read or not um okay oh gosh what else do I want to do let's do Ooh, okay, see this makes me think of Aubrey because she loves vampires. The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. Um, I, again, I know nothing about this, but I think of Aubrey and I think Twilight, so I'm gonna do this for vampires because that's that's my thoughts there. Um, okay, let me give you, well, I don't wanna move this, but at the same time I wanna show you guys because she has a really awesome bookshelf here because like this is the shelf where I'm thinking is the majority of what she might worry. Oh, the teacher. Wait, I'm adding that. One second. There's, I think, I don't know if it's based off of what I am thinking it's based off of, which is a, or I watched a show called A Teacher on Hulu with Nick something. I don't remember his name now. Um, but I feel like that would be a good one. Oh, I have to take somebody off to get this. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay, it's like the same thing, but it's, okay. Same vibe, but it's a little bit different. So this one's called The Teacher by Frida McFadden. That's number four. And then, final book. Let's see. Mm, I think my final book that I'm gonna have her read is, okay. I've never heard of this. But this sounds kind of funny. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgan Stern. No, know nothing about this either. But from the spine, I'm guessing she hasn't read it. Just because I know Aubrey likes to break her spine, I'm pretty sure. Whatever they do, I don't like it. I like a nice spine intact. So that's what I'm going with, I believe. Let me put her books back. Because I took apart her shelf on accident. All right, I'm getting Aubrey. Am I gonna show you book by book? Yes. Oh my god, don't look. Okay, I won't look. Okay. I put them on their side so you can't see them. Okay. Okay. You have to explain why you picked them. Yes. Okay. I did tell them. Perfect. The majority of my choices were based off of vibes. Okay, I love and it. And not really on the books themselves. I think that's great. So the first one is the one we knew. This Go one. Hex Yourself. Yes. Um, I really don't know anything about this book either, even though we I just talked about it. I thought you gave that to me. I don't I think also so. got it at that one garage sale. Yeah. Do you know which one I'm talking about? I think so. Yeah. Um, no, I've never heard of this one before. But okay. it looks fun. Okay. My next choice was I wanted to do orange because okay. Halloween. And yes. I, okay. 
I don't know. That was the other thing. All my vibes were Halloween fall vibes. I that's about. what I wanted, yeah. Um, I don't know anything about this, but I was like, okay, they have some nice blurbs from people I know. Yeah. So we're doing bunny. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna say what it is. I'm gonna read the back to make yes. this video a little bit longer. So it says Samantha Heather McKay is an outsider in her small, highly selected MFA program at Warren University. She's getting her MFA. That's what I kinda wanna get. Oh my gosh. Um, in fact, she's utterly repelled by the rest of her fiction writing cohort, a clique of unbearably twee rich girls who call each other Bunny. Okay, it's giving Mean Girls. But then the Bunnies issue her with an invitation, and Samantha finds herself inexplicably drawn to their front door, across the threshold, and down their rabbit hole. So, blending sharp satire with fairy tale horror, Bunny is a spellbinding trip of a novel from one of a fiction- one of- from one of fiction's most original new voices. Okay, I'm so excited to read this. Um, it's Dark Ac Academia. I'm scared, but I think it'll be good. Okay, love it. Okay, Excellent. next one. I picked this one. <laughs> yes, okay. I picked this one I'm because scared. it said vampires. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and I told them when I think about Bray, I think of vampires and yes. Twilight. Yes. And so I never heard of this one either. I will say, the other thing that I was going off of was the spine for yeah. if I thought you read it or not. Because you're someone that, like, normally, don't you normally break the spines yeah. a little bit? All of these are unread. All I'm, of them are? None of these have I read. <gasps> Whoa! This is my complete, like, TBR shelf. Oh, that's even better. That's yeah. awesome. Because I was like, but I yes, never read some repeats. Yes, that's but, good. But I was okay. That makes more sense because like these ones, I was like, maybe she has read these ones because they're like this. Oh ones yeah, those are just secondhand. Um, but yeah, so I picked this one because vampires. Um, I wanted to read it this summer, so I'm so glad you picked it. Yay, that's really good. Um, but yeah, again, I there wasn't a description yeah. on the back. I wonder so, if it's on this page. Yeah. Oh yeah. Say okay, so Southern the Southern Book The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying the Vampire. This is by Grady Hendrix. I've heard great things about her. I'm pretty sure she wrote uh the Final Girl Support Club or something like that. It's oh, about yeah. how you know like final girls in horror movies, how there's a final girl. Oh yeah. Like Maxine from mm -hmm. X. Um or XXX. But it, it was like a all the final girls get together and they're in a support club since nice. they're like dealing with but then there's a final girl out of all the final girls. Nice. But anyway, she's super popular. I haven't read this. I don't really know what it's about. But I'll read it. It says, Patric well, Patricia Campbell's life has never felt smaller. Her husband is a workaholic. Her teenage kids have their own lives. Her senile mother-in-law needs constant care. And she's always a step behind on her endless to-do list. The only thing keeping her sane is her book club, a close-knit <laughs> close group of Charleston women united by their love of true crime. Then James Harris walks into her life during the summer of 1993. He makes her feel things she hasn't felt in years. But when children on the other side of town go missing, Patricia wonders if he's connected. Is he a Brad Pitt, a Bundy, or something much worse? Oh I'm excited. It's I think like this will be so fun. Awards too. On the inside. Was, oh really? Is one of those awards. In one? Yes. Yeah. Well, lots of awards. Came out in 2020. I'm assuming or 2019. Nice. Exciting. Okay. I'm glad you picked it. This next one I picked because. I think this is based off of a TV show and okay. or it sounded familiar and I love the TV show. Okay. Um, and so I picked The Teacher. I don't oh know if it's based or like if the show is ba a, a teacher with Nick Robinson. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. But I, I love that show it. and it's about, yeah, it's about a girl and then a, I, I don't know. Yeah, student, student teacher affair with one student Addie at its center. So I was like, it's about a girl student, but the show's about a boy student. Yeah. I don't know. I'm wondering if it's related. I I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it is, but if it even if it's not, it's the same concept. Yeah. And I liked the show a lot, so. I like that show too, I, I forgot about one. that. Um, yeah, and she wrote The Housemaid, which got super popular. I found this at a garage sale, literally in our current neighborhood. Um, but let me read it really fast. It says, Eve has a good life. She gets up each day, gets a kiss from her husband, and heads off to teach math at the local high school. All is that, all is as it should be. Except, last year, Caseman High was rocked by a scandal involving a student-teacher affair with one student, Addie, at its center. But Eve knows there is far more to these ugly rumors than meets the eye. Addie can't be trusted. She lies. She hurts people. She destroys lives. At least that's what everyone says. But nobody knows a real Addie. Nobody knows the secrets that could destroy her if people at the school found out. And when Eve discovers the shocking truth, Addie will do anything to keep her quiet. Interesting. I'm excited to read it. Yeah. So that one's just a little bit 
like it sounds like it's different from the show. But same, it does. Same it's kind the of same thing. title, yeah. But yeah. Yay. Okay, what's the all last right. one? And then last one, this is truly a random pick. Okay. I was looking at all of your choices on there, and I was like, this one just caught my eye. Okay. I know not much about it, but it was kind of a funny thing. I wanted you to <laughs> pick that one. Is. I wanted you to pick that one. And then this picture gave me Alice from Twilight vibes. It's I don't know why. Alice for you sure. You can see that, but oh yeah. Oh my gosh. No, I literally, I was like, are you not going to say anything, but I want her to pick this one? Guys, I just knew. It's a night circus. Um, I've heard make thoughts on this one but i feel like i'm gonna like it it says the circus arrives without warning no announcements precede it it is simply there when yesterday it was not i'm gonna skip through okay. so it's between celia and marco and this is a game in which only one can be left standing i was about to say Ooh. i'm pretty sure it's a romance but only one person can live but they Ooh. fall in love with each other interesting so i'm really excited about this that looks I'm good. pretty sure it's just a standalone, so there's no second book. Nice. It's a thick one, but oh yeah. my gosh! Yay! Yay book! Look at that! We have my October TBR. Okay, thanks so much That's for awesome. picking these out. Of course. Anyway, so fun. I will hopefully finish all these books this month. We'll we'll see. <laughs> she better. Uh, no more reading Draymoni Draymoni Dray fan fiction. <laughs> Anyway. So, wait, so if all your unread books are here, where's the rest of your books? Back at home. home. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you took home back or not. Yeah, and then all the books in the office I've read. Oh, Like, yes. that's where I've been playing. I forgot you had other ones there. But yeah, all of these are unread. Nice. Unfortunately. I want to read them. Mm-hmm. That's so cool that you have them all together, though. 1984, I should have made you read that one. Yeah, I've never read that. Crazy. Dang it. Next time I do this, I'm making you read that. Okay. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, let me know if you guys have read any of these, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace and love.